Put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. No, I can't. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's real schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize for any customers who are in a hurry. a long time. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Thank you. 
can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. And so it begins. Who's there? How can you be? But it's... Don't tell me. Wait. <gasps> the light. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? <laughs> so, any questions? Huh? What's this about a contract? Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? I see. Never mind then. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, look, you can see it now. Morning. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukon High. You're going to love it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left, and that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Okay, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later.
Are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. That's... In 1999, that was what? 10 years ago? Your parents... I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Tori Yumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Such enthusiasm. We could use more go-getters like you. Have you seen the classroom assignment? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... one-track mind. 
Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? There were only four students in this door. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanata. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. Do you have another question? Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> He'll get used to his lame jokes. Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. KG Radio presents The Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirisho Electronics. Kirisho Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. She's 
still sleeping, the dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps, till we meet again. come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. Welcome back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kenshi. The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. He knows who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation, but this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not going to believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman. Let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. All right. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeda, go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I'm going!
What was that? came to. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. The power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemy. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. 
So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them, too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Really? But still, here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm going to get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Oh, and uh, you don't have to be formal around me or anything. A second-year girl's got to stick up for each other after all. Bye. Sleeping inside their coffins. But 
That's not what makes the Dark Hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the Dark Hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short. We're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users, which means it's all up to you guys. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. So I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms. It is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation. Depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay, then. See you later. Sleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when we get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. She's probably busy with things like student 
Council. Unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Never mind. Let's go. About earlier, it's not that I don't like her or anything, you know? Oh, I'm talking about Mitsuru Senpai. Why does Junpei always have to talk about stuff that isn't any of his business, huh? Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. He's like the poster boy for sexual harassment. You know, last year he... Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Hiyori from Class 2. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me. I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but... Man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Oh, that's good. You should, since you're a Persona user. But man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? It'd be nice to have a guy around too, wouldn't it? Huh? Uh, yeah. So anyway, glad to join the team. You can count on me. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. <laughs> you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax. I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. The labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. 
I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. I got in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 me pick me. Uh, you're in charge. What? But, but she's a girl. Well, she has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? <laughs> That's the spirit. What's the matter? supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Don't worry, though. I got you covered whenever you need it, man. Come on, let's go.
lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio back. Wait, you, you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that?
Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again, which means you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Then, proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a very reliable method of attack. 
Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's all you need to know about all-out attacks. Do you understand what I've just explained to you? Then, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Spread out and proceed individually.
Student Council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirito, from Class 3D. Thank you. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, the school's owned by the Kirito group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions to imagine a full new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Understand what she was talking about? Huh? Seriously? Man, you're smart. It sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. afternoon. Huh? Who? Us? I... I guess so. I want the two of you to meet me at Bologna Mall. You know where it is, right? See there. The... the police station? Uh, are your friends gonna go along too? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. Gotta go. Sheesh. Talk about putting a damper on a guy's afternoon. our squad well equipped. And this is from Ikutsuki-san. Really? Sweet! You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections, but these things still cost money. 
Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in the city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer. But it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Welcome back. 